Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about optimism. What is optimism? Why do you need to know this? Well, we will get right to it. And how can you get involved in the latest news, the optimism quests, why this is relevant for you. We'll be covering all that in the video. So don't miss out, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so optimism, what is it? Optimism is essentially Ethereum scaled. Optimism is a low cost, lightning fast Ethereum layer two blockchain. What is a layer two? What does all this mean? Mumbo jumbo. Essentially, Ethereum uh, is a layer one. All the transactions are processed and confirmed on Ethereum. A layer two uses Ethereum as a layer one um, for security or for something else. and allows something to happen like transactions in a faster um cheaper way while using ethereum as a security layer for example so here optimism uses ethereum to confirm transactions optimism is a fast stable scalable ethereum so how do they do this essentially optimism is an optimistic roll-up layer two what does that mean? It batches a bunch of transactions, puts them all together, and then when it fills up the bus, it sends it off to Ethereum where Ethereum finalizes or confirms those transactions. Now, it's important to note, these are called optimistic rollups. Optimistic rollups are a type of technology that assumes all transactions are valid until they are proven false. In other words, they are innocent until proven guilty. So transactions are sent through on Ethereum and often have a seven day grace period where people can contest these transactions in order to say this is true or this is false. Now, what happens with Ethereum and so on? So if something were to happen that is a false transaction, people would contest it and it wouldn't get confirmed onto Ethereum. Now. It is optimistic but it, because it is assuming everyone is nice and correct and is doing their best effort to be correct and not cheating the system, hence optimistic rollups. So um, it is a form of security that has so far worked pretty well. And well, optimism has been growing quite a bit lately. As we can see from the TVL, it has had a recent spike in August, July of uh, attention from right around 200 million TVL to right where it's at, at 800 million. So it's quite, quite interesting how optimism has been growing. Now you don't wanna miss out because they just launched their incentive program, which is the Galaxy um, Optimism Quest. Now let's jump back a little bit and see how can you even get onto optimism and why would you want to get off to optimism? Well, as I mentioned, the optimism quests are live and um, they are made so that you can actually learn how to use optimism and you can earn NFTs by completing these quests. Now, here comes the interesting part. Airdrop number one has been live for a while. You were able to claim your optimism airdrop, but there is a rumor of an airdrop number two. Now, if you complete these quests and interact with a lot of the different parts of the Optimism ecosystem, it is rumored that you might be enabled for airdrop number two. Now, this is of course a rumor and worst case, you just learned a bunch of DeFi and, a bu and about a bunch of different really cool apps building on Optimism. So let's learn in a little more. Uh, the community has shown a strong desire to begin learning about different apps on optimism so that's what this is and they have a nice article kind of going through the different apps and what you can do to learn so first let's dial it back a little bit how can you get onto optimism i do like bungie bungie is a bridge aggregator now it doesn't use all bridges it doesn't include synapse or stargate but it does include, uh, for example, the Optimism Bridge, Hop Bridge, Hyphen, and Across. So 
it's a bridge aggregator and it's going to tell you the fees on all the different bridges and the average time that your funds take in order to arrive on that chain. So bridging from Ethereum mainnet onto Optimism can be a little expensive. And that's why, for example, the Optimism bridge might be a really good choice, but it does take almost 20 minutes. So if you um, want to be quick, then maybe account for that. A hyphen bridge is really cheap and really fast, but then you're taking a cut on the total amount you will be receiving on Optimism because of the lack of liquidity in that pool. So this is something to consider. I do personally love uh, Stargate and we will be covering them because they are number one on the quests. So what are these quests? Let's go over to Galaxy. The Optimism Quest campaign is live. This learn to earn campaign will introduce you to Optimism's ecosystem in a fun and interactive way. So essentially you will take quizzes and then complete an on-chain task to unlock your NFT rewards. So it's pretty easy on how you get started. You enter a quest, you take a short quiz, you pass the quiz, and then you complete the tasks. Once you complete the tasks, you can claim your NFT. So here they cover a couple of different protocols that are part of the quest, and that's what we're gonna do right now on Optimism Quest. So for example, number one, we got Stargate. So let's do a quest or start the quest on Stargate um, because, well, we need to, we want to learn. Um, I guess I completed the knowledge on Stargate. So maybe I can't do this. If I connect a different wallet, I might be able to um, complete this task. Let's see. Um, but it, essentially, you complete the task on Stargate. And once it is completed, you can learn something on Optimism. Oh, well, you can earn the said NFT. So let's go to a different task. It's pretty straightforward on how we can all do this. Let's go, since I have completed already three of the NFTs and have claimed these, as you can see, Pool, um, Quicks, and Stargate are completed. Now we can, of course, catch all the other ones. So for example, let's learn what is something like Velodrome. Velodrome is quite an interesting protocol. Velodrome is a leading decentralized exchange on optimism. It, at its core, Velodrome is a three-sided platform that enables liquidity providers, LPs, to earn rewards for staking liquidity on the protocol. Traders to make low slippage token swaps for pairs and deep liquidity and other protocols on optimism to incentivize liquidity for their own purposes in a capital efficient manner. This is really cool. Velodrome is a bit of a copy of Solidly that was made on Phantom by Andre Kronje. So Velodrome strongly aligns incentives for all players on the decks to serve as a liquidity layer for the ecosystem. So Velodrome is quite, quite cool. So for example, we can start the quiz here. What is Velodrome? What did I just read? It's a decentralized exchange. Nice. Next question. Who is the interested user of Velodrome? Well, it's liquidity providers, traders, and other protocols on Optimism. Now, remember, this is cool because they can actually use the liquidity on Velodrome on their own protocol. And this way, it makes for more capital efficient markets. And that is the goal here. It's really important to have capital efficiency so that uh, protocols aren't fighting over liquidity, rather sharing it in order to have deeper liquidity overall. So all the above, well done. And that is it. You completed your task, your test. Now you have to complete the quest. So here the quest is to deposit $20 equivalent worth of tokens into a stable pool. So USDC die on Velodrome and then stake it. And then you also have to follow Velodrome on Twitter and then in order to do that, you go, once you complete this task, you click on get NFT. It will load a new page where you can claim your NFT as you have completed. So for example, I follow Velodrome on Twitter and I have uh, to stake a Velodrome LP, which is what I'm missing, the $20 LP on a stable pool and stake it. So once I complete that, it will allow me to so I just have to switch to optimism on my wallet, 
so that it allows me to, of course, claim or have access to all this. And now I'm not yet eligible, as we can see, because, um, well, I haven't completed the second set of tasks, be an LP staker. So that is a quick gist on what you have to do in order to complete these tasks and earn all these rewards. And once you start the quest, complete the tasks, you can actually show that you have your nft i'll show it here pulled together op quest and claimed one so once if you actually want to see nfts well we can go to quicks which is the nft marketplace that we just talked about over here you learn you trade um for nfts and then i can actually go to quicks so let's go purchase an NFT minimum of 0 0.0099, which is right around $13. And then we can actually go to my collection or my NFTs, and we can view all of the ones that I have yet so far claimed. So you can see I did the Stargate quest, the pull together and the quicks quest so far. And we can see for how much these are trading for. And of course we can try to trade these so that we can gain access to certain things. Now, um, why would you want to collect all these NFTs? Why is this important? Well, it looks like these are gonna be your badges in order to later claim some type of optimism number two airdrop. So the more badges you have, the better Boy Scout you have been, and well, the more likely you will be to um, be eligible for this second airdrop on optimism. Now. I do want to talk about the other projects, all dApps, and the incentives on Optimism because, well, Optimism has been growing lately. As I mentioned, if we go to all chains, Optimism is number eight in terms of TVL, but it has the biggest discrepancy in market cap to TVL ratio. So market cap to TVL, what is this? It shows the difference between the market cap of a coin and the TVL of that coin. So we can see, for example, um, Ethereum has a 4.9 market cap TVL. That means the market cap is almost 4.9 times bigger than the T total TVL on the chain. Now, we can see Tron has almost a one-to-one -one market cap TVL, which is surprising. It means market cap is actually aligned with TVL. How much money is on the chain is properly aligned. Um, we can see Binance and Solana have a huge discrepancy. There is really not enough TVL justifying the market cap on that chain but it is what it is now let's look at optimism optimism is below the one mark that means that optimism is hugely undervalued in terms of how much money is actually on the chain versus the total market cap of the optimism token um and we can actually view right now some of the different protocols like ave Synthetics, Velodrome, as we mentioned, we did the Velodrome quests. And whilst these are pretty legit and great um, protocols on the chain, now if you complete the quests, you will be learning about a lot more um, optimism exchanges and different protocols. Borrow stablecoins on Cheetow, they have a uh, very cool, they actually started on Polygon, now they're on. Um, they recently just launched on Ethereum mainnet. You got Synapse, which is a cross uh, chain transfers. Um, it allows you to, similar to Stargate, uh, transfer assets. You got Synthetics that and Quanta, which are related, which allow you to trade synthetic assets. You got Perpetual Protocol that allows you to do leverage longs and shorts but you can also leverage liquidity providing positions and that is super unique because you can actually um leverage liquidity providing by simply depositing for example a hundred dollars but you want to leverage because it's concentrated liquidity uh you're going to leverage your hundred dollars to be a thousand dollars in a range so you instead of earning simply a five percent apr on a liquidity position, you can earn almost 25% which with a smaller amount. So that's really cool. Um, really cool things happening on Optimism, on all the different protocols. If you guys want me to do deep dives on specific protocols, check it out. Um, do leave it in the comments. I have made a video on Perpetual Protocol back in the day. It's been months now, but look for that. 
in the YouTube. Um, we will try to link it below because I have made a thread on it. It's really cool, Perpetual Protocol. Uh, built using Uniswap V3 concentrated liquidity pools. Um, and well, one of the quests is Uniswap and Uniswap is so easy, straightforward to use. It's the biggest exchange in crypto probably. So don't miss out on the optimism quest. I am happy to answer all your questions in the comments. Join the Burb Nest. I've been talking about this. I'm happy to solve all your questions there. Um, so Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Um, again, join the Discord and the Burb Nest. We can talk about all of this in the future. And that was optimism. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.